Everyday struggles are real. Whether you're rich or poor, you will face them. The fight against good and evil, it is an everyday occurrence. Meanwhile, you're out here and you're trying to warn your sisters and brothers about spiritual warfare. You are trying to warn them about Bible prophecy and how to connect the dots so that they will be aware of the birth pains that have already begun. Birth pains like wars and rumors of wars, nation rising against nations and kingdom against kingdom, famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. But the delivery of Jesus coming and the end of the world, Bible tells us, is not yet. It's not over yet. That's what Matthew 24, 4 through 12 talks about. Meanwhile, the birth pains are steadily increasing. You know how it is with a pregnant woman. When, when it's that time, the birth pains begin to grow increasingly and increasingly more. But you see, my sisters and brothers, they don't want to hear about Bible prophecy. They don't want to hear about the end of days. They don't want to hear about come out of her, my people. So your friends and your family, they start avoiding you and telling you the reason why they're avoiding you because you're just talking about that kind of stuff too much. It's too much. So for them, it goes in one ear and out of the other. And so my brothers and sisters, they continue to do what is right in their own eyes. But you see, and you see that you are being afflicted. And you see that they shall kill you. And you see that you are hated by all nations for Jesus' name's sake. And you see many will be offended and hate one another. And you see that there are many false prophets that are rising up to deceive us. You see how iniquity is abound and how many have waxed cold. Yet, my brothers and sisters, you go on as if this is nothing new because birth pains is how it's supposed to be. Something has to be delivered, and that deliverance is Jesus. But Satan has blinded many of you, sisters, brothers, to be waxed cold. And so you continue to do things just like in the days of Noah and in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Not even realizing the kingdom of God is at hand. Listen, although no man knows the day or the hour of Jesus' return, but Jesus is coming back. So here is yet another warning, but the same warning. Just as in the days of old, and as John proclaimed the revelation of Jesus, he heard a voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Do not be partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plaques. That's Revelations 18 and 4. Come out of her. You have been warned. I'm Minister Sharon Ford of Spiritual Care of Southfield. If you like the message, comment or click the thumbs up button and let me know. If you have not repented, do it now for the kingdom of God is at hand. Do it now before it's too late. May God be with you until we meet again. Amen.